Okay, I've run to the store and got the few ingredients I did not have in the pantry and in the refrigerator to make this picadillo. So let's get started. Here are your recipes and your ingredients. It's that easy. It doesn't even take an entire page. So what we have here is going to be a pound of ground beef. I have just a little bit more. We're gonna have a half cup of onion. The recipe calls for bell pepper, but I have two small bell peppers and I have a large poblano pepper. I just love the flavor. We're gonna have some garlic. I had a few matchstick carrots left, just a very little bit. You can customize this your way. I'm gonna add those. We're gonna put in eight ounces of tomato sauce, so I'll use half of that and freeze the rest. One and a half cups of your beef broth. Of course, we have our salt and pepper. We're going to be using one teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of that pepper, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of ground coriander, and one bay leaf. So let me get all these ingredients chopped up and we'll start cooking. I'm going to add just a little bit of oil to my pan, maybe a couple of tablespoons, not a lot. While I'm cutting up the vegetables, I've got this on about a medium high heat, I'm going to start this ground beef. Get that going. This should come together really, really quickly and easy. All right, hopefully you can see everything. So the first thing we're gonna do is our onion. Cut it in half. Peel off that outer layer. I'm going to do the fine dice on this onion. I've been practicing my skills a little bit. Oh, I wouldn't call it skills. So I cut that onion in half and then I diced it along the way. Recipe calls for about a half a cup of onion. Save this for later. I'm gonna go stir the ground beef. Okay, ground beef is coming along nicely. Now we're gonna cut up our peppers.
I'm just going to use a small piece of the poblano and I'm going to save the rest for something else. I love the fresh smell of the poblano. You don't have to add this, recipe doesn't call for it, but I'm going to add a little bit of carrots just to get them out of my refrigerator. Meat is almost finished cooking. At this point, you can drain any extra grease off of your hamburger meat if you wish. I really don't have any grease. I have this over a not quite medium high, almost medium heat. Now we're going to get that onion, bell pepper, poblanos. You can add jalapenos. Do it your way. Turn this down to a medium heat. Let that cook. Get those vegetables a little slow. Four cloves of garlic. So I'm using about two heaping teaspoons of prepared garlic. The whole house smells amazing. Oh, but adding that garlic really is beautiful. It smells delicious. I just used the prepared garlic. Okay, once your vegetables cook down, I've got this now down to a medium heat. The beef in here is cooked through. We're going to stir in our tomato sauce, about eight ounces. Recipe doesn't call for it, but I like to add a little bit of um, rotel. Just a good couple of teaspoons with some juice, just to add some 
kick to it. This is diced tomatoes with green chilies. Going to get our potatoes. About two cups of potatoes. I'm putting in a little extra because we love potatoes. I may need to add a little extra juice because I added those extra tomatoes. So I'm going to add, because I added those extra uh, potatoes, I'm just going to put in the rest of that 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. And I'm going to add the rest of those Rotel. The liquid will absorb and it will evaporate. One and a half cups of broth, beef broth. Oh, this smells so good. It's gonna taste great over those hot tortillas. All right. One teaspoon of salt. Add a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. One teaspoon of ground cumin. One teaspoon of coriander. I love the scent of that coriander and that cumin. Let's give it a stir. Everybody get along together in there. They are having a party. And I'm about to join them in a party here in a few minutes. And the final step. Let's add a bay leaf. My store didn't have any fresh, so I'm going to put in a, I call it a paper one, a fake one, but uh, just out of the jar. Bay leaf. One bay leaf. Okay, so I'm going to read that recipe one more time. We had a pound of ground beef. I used a little bit extra because we're going to have some leftovers. Um, half a cup of uh, chopped onion, one green bell pepper, but I used a poblano with one orange and one um, red mini bell pepper. Two cups of potatoes. I put three cups in. Four cloves of garlic. 
eight ounces of tomato sauce. I went ahead and used a whole 15 ounce can. I also added a half a can of Rotel tomatoes, one and a half cups of beef broth, one teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of coriander, and one bay leaf. So we're going to cook this now over a medium heat without the lid for 10 minutes. And then we're going to put the lid on it for 10 minutes and then take it off. I think I just said that backwards. I said it backwards. We're going to put a lid on it for the first 10 minutes. Then we're going to remove the lid for another 10 minutes and then it should be done. Okay, we're about to take the lid off and cook it for another 10 minutes. A nod to my mother who gave me a set of pot holders and those, the white and the turquoise towel. Because she knows I've been practicing my cooking. All right, so this is still over that medium heat. Give it a stir. And doesn't that look delicious? If you hear any noise in the background, they are putting that black top on our street today. Long time coming. So continue over this medium heat for another 10 minutes without the lid. And we'll be back with some hot tortillas to serve this up. Okay, this is by no way an endorsement because we don't have that many viewers and I'm not that great of a cook, but I do my best. And that's why I like to cook on this channel is to show other people like me who don't really know what the heck they're doing. You can cook too. We have a little new wave Bravo, um, which we bought to use in our RV. Um, just a shout out to uh, my dog who passed away, Shotzi Girl. Um, this must put out some kind of a high signal that only dogs can hear. Um, we couldn't use this because it scared her half to death. But it doesn't bother Ron Ronnie at all. So we don't want to heat up the whole house using that big oven. It's uh, probably close to 100 degrees at 1130 this morning. So, I mean, this thing, it air fries, bakes, broils, dehydrates, does frozen food, it grills, it does pizzas, it reheats. And I have to give a shout out on the reheat because you put your leftover, you know, fried okra or french fries or tater tots, whatever, and it crisps those up better than they were in the beginning. This thing roasts, it slow roasts, it toasts. I don't know what it means by that it does yogurt, but hey. So we're going to select bake 350 it'll give it 10 minutes but you know i'm not going to do it but for a few minutes and i'm going to place my tortillas in here to heat those up we have about six minutes remaining on the picadillo gosh i think i called it pico de gallo but it's picadillo <laughs> uh. You know. I mean, the people outside that are doing the road work, if they could just smell this, they would probably line up at my door. I am going to offer my neighbor a couple, I think. Let's see if she wants one. So, this is almost preheated. We're going to throw the tortillas in. 
that's hot. <laughs> I mean, this little thing really does an amazing job at cooking and heating. We do most of our cooking in here, as a matter of fact. So, all right, you know what this means. It's almost time for a wonderful little brunch. Be back soon. See how almost all of that liquid, a lot of it is absorbed, most of it has evaporated. The colors are beautiful. The aroma in my kitchen is just amazing. These tortillas are about ready. Be sure to remove that bay leaf. Do you put ice in your milk? I do. Who remembers Luby's Cafeteria? Okay. Let me move this camera so you can see this. I mean, look at that. All those wonderful potatoes, the ground beef, the bell peppers, the poblano peppers, the onions, all that wonderful seasoning and tomato sauce. Look at that. It's beautiful. We're going to dish this up into some hot tortillas and get ready to eat because it smells so good I can hardly wait if I can get the camera put down. <laughs> okay. All right, can you see? I'm using a slotted spoon. Look at that. Just like that. I didn't say these wouldn't be messy. Okay, you can add um, shredded cheese to this if you wish. I like it just the way it is. It's simple, very minimal ingredients. Most everything you have in your pantry, I had everything except for the beef broth and the uh, hamburger meat. And I did add the poblano pepper. So you probably have everything you already need. Um, it's about 30 minutes and plenty for leftovers, so. I turn the camera around and we'll do a taste test with Dwight. Mm -hmm. Okay. That wonderful picadillo made into two beautiful breakfast tacos. Um, I already have a customer at the drive through window. <laughs> May I take your order? Two picadillo tacos coming right up. Sorry, Ronnie, they have onions. But this guy here might want some. Here's everybody's favorite person. Dwight. Yes. <laughs> I, I am the official t taste tester. Smells wonderful. 
feels kind of hot. It is hot. You might want to take a small bite. <laughs> and I didn't say they were going to be not messy. They're going to be a little messy. I've never made this before. Okay. It's good. Do you like it? Tastes good, yeah. All right. Thumbs up from Dwight. You may see in the background, even though it might look backwards, Yellowstone. I went to Yellowstone for four days. Um, just got back last week with my sister and my mom. I have a lot of videos and a lot of photos that I'm putting together and we'll get those uploaded here, hopefully within the next week. But for now, I'll do the taste test. Dwight's eating his. Bon Appetit, I guess. Mmm. The seasonings are great. That cumin and coriander. The addition of those Rotel tomatoes and that poblano pepper really added a lot of flavor. I wouldn't change a thing. Great for your breakfast or for us brunch, midday snack. Nice and juicy. For my first time making this, I give it a thumbs up. Enjoy your day. If there's any way that uh, Dwight and I can say a prayer for you, if there's anything that you need prayer over, please let us know. We pray for all of our family, friends, neighbors, and acquaintances, which are you. There goes that clock. Let us know if you have a prayer request. Other than that, God bless everybody. Have a great day and be sure to smile. Try this recipe. It turns out great. The only thing missing is a fork. Because it will spill out on the plate. I can help you there. Thank you, baby. And a napkin. I forgot a napkin. Oh, I can lick my fingers. <laughs> and of course, Ronnie. Can I help you? Do you want a small treat? Ronnie, do you want a small treat? Come here. Come here. Do you want a hot dog? This has onions in it. Oh, look at him stretching. He's stretching his stomach so he'll get a small treat. Ooh. Sit. 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 Ronnie. Good boy. <laughs> All right. Everybody have a blessed day.